What's up, everybody? This your boy, Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So you got your Galaxy Note 9 and you're a business user and you want to set your device up to be business-like, right? Maybe look like Windows 10. So today, guys, I got my Galaxy Note 9. I want to show you how I got my Galaxy Note 9 set up in the business realm, kind of looking like Windows 10 on my Galaxy Note 9. It may be a good thing for business users that want to use their device as a business device, right? So let me show you guys how I use my Galaxy Note 9 in the business environment, having it look like a business device and all the bells and whistles. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So this is uh, my PC launcher. It's a very unique launcher that I use on my Galaxy Note devices to get work done here. So as you can see, it's very simplistic and I'm gonna go over some of the features here with this launcher. As you can see, I have user here. When I click on user, it brings me into another tab here that looks PC-like and I can click on here and it has my PC. Now, if I had a, um, memory card in here it would show up another drive but i don't have a memory card in here so it tells me all the memory that's free here on the local drive uh, then i have the network if you have a ftp or a lan it will also show there so that is uh, my pc here and as you can see here uh, i just have a minimal uh, stuff here on my home screen i have a folder for social which I have all my social apps here. Then I have my business uh, folder, which have my Excel spreadsheet, uh, my splash top, my PowerPoint, my gallery, uh, my OneNote, and my Word, and my OneDrive. Uh, I use a lot of this for business, especially splash top uh, in my Dex environment. Uh, I got YouTube, of course, and then I have my hub. I use the hub, which is the BlackBerry hub uh, that I use to integrate uh, all my emails, text messages and stuff like that. So I have a very minimalistic uh, on my Galaxy Note. And as you can see, you can still use your Galaxy Note uh, software here. Also, you still got your ed edge panels. You can still use your edge panels. Uh, and what I like about the, this launcher here is that, again, it looks just like the Windows 10 environment. If I click here, it gives me Action Center, uh, that it has all my features here that look just like Windows 10, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that stuff like that. Uh, so that is very neat. All my text messages and emails and stuff like that is integrated. Also, my recently used apps here will show up here. My phone, my text message, and then when I click on this here, it gives me more of the Windows 10 environment with all my apps. Nice, and this launcher works pretty good. It's pretty fast. I don't have any problems with this launcher. And also when you hit the hamburger bar, you got what's called your start and you can search file explorer your settings and when you click on settings it brings you into a different settings uh you you have your system settings your notification settings and stuff like that now you still can get to your regular settings here by clicking here so you can't get into your regular settings so that's no big deal but uh yeah it's very minimalistic uh and this is designed to get work done i like this launcher i use this launcher all the time Another unique feature with this launcher, if you hold and press down on the home screen, you get some unique features. You get themes, wallpapers, colors. You can add a widget, a desktop icon. You could create a folder. You got your lock screen and, very, and more apps. So you have a whole lot of stuff going on here. And I like the way it's tucked off into different screens and different menus. So you can actually see all kinds of things here, which is a good thing. Uh, you do have a theme store when you go on here you do have themes which is great and it's a windows 10 style themes uh, and again once you click on it you got your wallpapers you can actually change your colors of your background which is also nice and uh, you can go into add widgets so you can add widgets to the screen and you got desk icons here so you can change your desk icons and stuff like that so that's a good thing uh, and you can create folders and you can change your lock screen and you can add more apps. So there it is. 
This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Note 9 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.